Hello, hello guys. Uh, namaste. Rev. Ndi yepi. Akwaba. Sanbonani. Na ni how. Hola. Anyway, let's have a look at something again. I'm pretty sure you now uh, understand the entire thing, the entire chip, how the chip works. I have two chips here which are exactly the same of which is A and B. I believe uh, B is improvement of A but it's one thing is exactly the same. All the pins out are exactly 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 the same. So uh, let's go ahead let's see. Uh, we'll start from pin number one okay. From pin number one let's see what does pin I know what pin number one mean but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go through this with you guys so that you can understand it much more better. Uh, let's go ahead. Pin number one, it says two volt reference. Okay. Uh, here on pin number one of rev, whenever you are checking, uh, diagnosing this chip, but first we have to understand what does this chip uh, does. How do you get that information? It's easy. You highlight the chip number. It's either on the schematic or somewhere, somewhere. Open and then you paste and search. There we go. Let's see what exactly this chip does. Let's see. Uh, okay, this chip is for generating what the 3.3 and the 5 volts. This is the chip that generates 3.3 and 5 volts. All right, this is the data sheet. This is the chip. Uh, even here, and explaining everything uh, regarding this chip. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, which is fine. I don't have any problem with this. This is lovely. This is lovely. This is lovely. But let's go back on our book. All right. We know what this chip is for. The 3.3 and the 5 uh, volts. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So pin number one, I've, I've, I've told you, you have to have two volts there. No matter what, you should receive the two voltages. And it's called REF, which means reference output. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, load the referent degree, feedback, and output accurate according to the REF load. Okay, so that pin is more like a rectifier. Okay, it's normally rectify. It's uh, it's connected with the feedback somehow. Let me see. Uh, ish. I don't have the the, the proper uh, schematic, so this is just the pin out of the chip. If I had a schematic, I was gonna check and see if a reference for sure reference output is there as a rectifier or or not. Anyway, let's pass on. We have uh, pin number two. Pin number two. It's T O N T O N. It means uh, time on. Yes, it means time on. Okay, even though they didn't say time on here, but it means time on. Uh, okay, let me make an example. Let's say uh, voltage out for number one for maybe for 3.3 or 5 volts is switching. So the time it takes to reach uh, 0 volt ground and go back to 19 volt and then goes back to 0 volt and then goes back to 19 volt. That time, that distance is measured in what? In frequencies, right? So the time it takes. Uh, the time it takes to do, and I mean to turn on and on and turn on and and and, and uh, the time uh is tick. Get my point. So time on is the time it takes, of which is measured in in a uh, in frequencies in uh, in hertz, kilohertz or megahertz. But the time it takes, of which here it's gonna be kilohertz because there it switches very fast and there is those small waves. Uh, I'm not sure if someone will understand this. But people who knows this thing more deep and deeper, they will understand it. Even those who doesn't know this thing, they will have a, a tool of uh, TON. TON is the measurement. The, when those MOSFETs are switching on and off, the distance, the time they take when they are uh, creating the sparks of 5 volts or the sparks of 3.3 volts. Okay, let's move on. Pin number three is VCC, uh, and there it is VCC of just pin number three analog supply voltage. Okay, this is just the uh, the power supply. Okay, this, this is where the chip receive what I receive the, the power. Pin number four is LTO. Let's go, let's go up. It's LTO. 
oh wait it's enable lto it's en en lto it means uh, enable lto lto enable inputs the ref or lto is enabled uh okay it's uh which a logic okay uh, disable less than a logic level okay anyway remember the lto we, we, you have two lto we have five i mean lto five and lto uh three if i'm not mistaken uh let's see you will have two ldos uh let me check let me check okay we have one ldo ldo it means uh lock i mean uh low drop uh out okay 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 it's more like ref but uh ldo they normally 3.3 volts or 5 volts and really remember and see it means no connection no internal connection no connection it's one thing which pin number where's this thing pin number eight yes and see it means no connection meaning that pin is loose right there there is no connection at all v in and vcc is almost the same thing power supply used to go okay it's almost the same thing uh right or right uh ldo again lean okay so that was wrong uh linear regulator output ldo regulates a fixed five volt output okay i was right there as i've told you before ldo it's exactly the five volts output okay uh ldo output okay it's linear uh it's linear with this again a linear regulator output okay and then we have by byp which is switch over source voltage input for the for the ldo of which i don't understand myself i'm not an engineer but anyway it's cool it's fine uh i will do a research deep into this and then come and explain it to you here we have v out it means voltage out number one for power supply number one for switching mode power supply number one okay we have that so number one can be five volts it can be three it can be five volts it can be 3.3 volts and then we have feed fp1 this is a feedback for power supply number number one chips they need to know how many how much volts they are generating through the feedback feedback need to know this is a current limiter adjustment uh i lim one okay you have to limit the current obvious uh, all those things ah, power code power code open drain and output power code open drain output okay yes as you can see power code is so important power code is low in shutdown i mean power code is low in in shutdown it's high when the machine is uh, regulating or stuff like that uh right enable one this means enable the voltage one and maybe enable the five volts or enable the 3.3 before you even say the 3.3 volts shorted or it's not working or the chip is damaged make sure that it is being enabled don't rush and lie just check first if the chip is being told to turn on the 3.3 or the five volts through enable you get one means upper gate one higher side mosfets meaning control the higher what the higher mosfet the upper mosfet through gates this is where the chip controls those mosfets on the upper upper gate phase one this is an inductor connection for power supply okay you're right you're right you know the inductors right puts boost flying capacitor connection for the thing yeah here they normally connect it to ground but they put a capacitor in between it's normally for boosting i guess so it's for boosting the, the power supply number one or power supply number two depending on the thing and uh low gates it means lower gate i mean low gates you control the lower gate it controls the uh, down mosfet the one of which is connected to where uh, to ground PVCC it's a power supply side MOSFET for gates. Uh, all right, all right, all right. That guy, this is getting more deeper and 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 deeper. And deeper. But anyway, this is it. Right and skip. I'm gonna do a research about the skip and do a research about sec feedback. I don't know what that does mean, but I'm gonna do a research. 
Alright, uh, but the, the other one is exactly the, the same thing. So anyway, let me leave it right there. I hope it will assist uh, someone I've tried. I've tried all my best to summarize this for you. Anyway, bye-bye and uh, take care.